hello friends this is Jagbir Singh and today we are going to design one engine clamp so we are starting with one sketch on the front plane now create one circle and give it diameter of 100 now offset it by 0.8 and make it a reverse direction just like this and complete your sketch now go for features and go for extrude make sure you choose in direction 1 mid plane and the value of extrude is 12 mm okay so now you use your top plane select it and go for reference geometry and create one plane in the second reference you select this curved face and <clears throat> here you have to choose pair so a plane will be created on this curved surface and now select this plane and go for a sketch on it make it normal to your screen and just like this okay now take one centered straight slot and from this point make it like this and uh, give it a dimension from this point to center two point four two and one more from this point to this point as point seven six okay now just finish this and go for extrude cut and make it up to next now you go to one cut for this just hide this plane so it won't create any confusion here now you have to circular pattern this curve along this curved surface now go for circular pattern but before that you have to create one reference for your circular pattern so go for reference geometry and select one axis and select your this face and there will be one axis now finish it now we will use this as my central axis for my circular pattern now go for circular pattern select automatically this axis has been selected for feature you can select cut extrude one and you give hundred numbers now you can see you can increase or decrease as per your requirement but for now we are taking hundred here these cuts are going to be my lock for my clamp now we have to design the lock for this particular clamp so go for <coughs> this plane and make a sketch on it make it normal to your screen now now go for your center line 
from this center point create one center line vertical one now you select your center line and make it as infinite length now go for one line like this and make it having dimensional constraint from this point to this particular cap as place it here let's keep it as value as 48 point 17 and hit at enter now from this point to this edge you give a gap of 1.62 mm let's now you just select this line and control the center point and make them coincident now take go for smart dimension and give from this point to the center line as 6.68 you have to give it here instead of that you can simply select and delete this dimension and give this line as 15.24 now just take a line tool take a line tool from this point make a vertical line and give it a length of 2.54 sorry 2.54 and this line was by mistake so just trim this one now make one point go for one point and make it here somewhere and go for smart dimension from this point to this particular line in cap of 6.68 center point arc and from this center point you just straight horizontal arc start point from this point to this point and now give it a radius as 5.08 go for line and start a line from this point and from this particular point take a inference line like this and just finish line like this now go for line again from this point take inference from this point straight one and go like this and finish this here sorry 
here this line should be horizontal line go for fillet apply a fillet at this particular point of 1 mm and select this point and this point now you go for extrude and make sure you have selected your mid plane and make it it is make it as 30 and finish it now you have to Add it your bows extrude and make it 35. Yes. Now you select this plane face and go for an extrude and create a sketch on this one. go for your corner to corner and from this particular point here to this particular point here you create a rectangle like this and just give a smart dimension to this particular as is 0.80 point eight zero. and just extrude it extrude it up to 12 and now all you have to do is just simply go for fillet and select this line and this edge give a fillet of 5 now you can see your clamp is ready so friends if you like this video you can hit the like button you can share it with your friends and if you want to see more videos like this then you can hit the subscribe button this is Jagbir Singh signing off for today Jai India Jai